Previously on the Between Two Yeti Kilimanjaro adventure, our group has hiked the Mashami route through rainforest, moorland, alpine deserts, right to the eternal ice layer at the roof of Africa. We managed to hold a somewhat civilized conversation at Uhuru Peak and left our trademark before making our descent. We're now at the Mawiki camp and the realization of what we've just done is starting to settle in. I'm Lee Savage and I created Between Two Yetis, where we take our Yeti coolers all around the world and meet people from all walks of life to learn what it is that gets them out of bed. Our aim is to show the humanity in the world by giving people the opportunity to share their story. This is Nelson Dellis. He's a four-time USA memory champion and runs a charity called Climb for Memory, where he raises awareness of Alzheimer's disease by organizing climbing expeditions on some of the world's greatest mountains. We decided, why not take the show up a mountain on one of his next trips? So we worked out how to strap them to our backs, got together some friends, and flew out to Kilimanjaro. This is our adventure climbing to the roof of Africa. Good morning, people. Our final morning. Our final sunrise. I'll tell you what's annoying. Actually, on the last night, we had to sleep like a baby. I went to bed at 9 and I've just woken up at. What time is it? Like 6.15. Uninterrupted sleep. So, all this time I've been sleeping because they said that you have to sleep with your head at the highest point. Nobody said that you couldn't just jack your head up on top of your bag. And now, although you're sleeping a little bit upright, mother And we're back between two Yetis, Kilimanjaro special, day seven. It's the yeah. last one, I know that. Yeah, you're out of breath. <laughs> How you doing? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, yeah, all right, take it away. Yeah, last time we were on the, the summit together. Now we're back, we came back down and we went to a lower camp. We were up there. It's obscene, hours obscene ago. how high that damn thing is. Crazy, right? How people were saying this is the hardest thing I've ever done. Getting to the top was hard. Yeah. For me, getting back down was the hardest. Some people, the, the, the down part is I had, so I had nothing, I gave everything to get to the top. That's, that's set this up, run around, do everything. Nuts. And then I was just like. Shit, I gotta go down. I gotta go down. I gotta go down. People forget that. I, sh I should have brought that up, but it's like. It's, 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 it's as important yeah. as getting up. Th this mountain is more forgivable, but on the bigger, bigger, bigger peaks, it's like. You gotta think, it's, the summit is up and down. Otherwise, what's the point of going up and dying? That doesn't count. So you know my porter was crying? I, I think it was his first time? That's what I thought. I, I, we thought that that was gonna be the case. I thought yeah. that was amazing. We came down the mountain together. The, well, one of them went off uh -huh. quick early because he didn't have to quite have the quite right equipment. That's, that's for another day. So I, I shared everything I had between the three of us. And between the three of us, we struggled down that mountain. And um, yeah, and as they sat there, they were like, they were like, our first time ever. Both of them, ever. It was both of them? Both of their first That's times right. ever. So a lot of these porters take stuff to the highest camp, and they don't have to porter anything to the summit, but because of the gear. Because we needed to carry these, we needed support stuff just yeah. to make sure we our stuff was well. yeah. I think, I think the lie can't be carried on anymore. <laughs> yeah. We had nothing to do with carrying these guys. <sighs> yeah. 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 Yeah, when you cry, yeah, when you cry. 
So on a rare occasion, we're joined by the Jew in Chief. What's going on, Senor Judeo, reporting live, day six. Day seven? seven. Day seven. Oh, shnikey. Now normally, he's running up a hill, but today, he's turned into little old Lady Hubbard Hubbard. Oh my goodness. I'm a little yenta today. A little Jewish grandma. Oi, my aching knees. My aching knees. <laughs> So you see that down there, that's the first taste of civilization we've had in seven days. That my friends is a f***ing road. Okay well, <laughs> might have over exaggerated the road aspect of it. This is what? The big one. The road from the gate to up here for the ambulance. If someone gets a problem up there. This is where they the come. Ambulance, uh, the ambulance said it's come up to up here and the end of the stretch here. So from up there to down All the way down here. Yeah. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> hey, I'm ready. ready. Okay, so this isn't cheating. This isn't cheating, is it? <laughs> no, 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 it's not cheating. It's not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> they offered their very claims. <laughs> My wish came true! <laughs> hey, <me. laughs> I've never seen people so happy. All we need now is a <laughs> now we so happy. Uh -oh. This is not cheating. What is it? Do we tell them? No. No. Maybe this should just be our secret. If we had said, oh, no, 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 we want to walk this. Um, we, 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 we'd be the idiots. Yep. I should always ask for random things. Bunch of the sirens. So th this is how this is how the end of the Kilimanjaro trip ends. Yeah. Uh, How's everyone back there? Yeah. Yeah. It's alright, right. right. everything is alright. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> the suckers had to walk down. <laughs> oh, that's evil. <laughs> Just think of all this extra hiking we're missing. I don't give a flying f. Is that them? It's totally them. <laughs> that's totally, it's totally, totally them. them. I think what we should do. I think what we should do. I think we should get out discreetly. Just keep, just keep your head down. Just keep your head down. Just keep your head down. <laughs> They're gonna notice. They're gonna notice. Get out! We're first. We're first. We're first. Aim is first. Aim is first. Look, I made it first. <laughs> <laughs> that nails, that mixes out your whole summit. <laughs> we were discussing this. If we had been given the opportunity and we turned it down. That's true. We'd be stupid. 
I guess. For sure they call, because they, um, at least the guides, like, call... The Kilimanjaro is finest. Like, you climb it. Because when we got to base, wait, you're recording right now? What's happening? Sniff test. Sniff. Oh my god. Yeah? What are we sniffing? I sniff you, you sniff me. Okay. Under the armpit? Alright, lift. Oh, not bad. I've smelled oh. porters come by that were really bad. Yeah. It's a new shirt. You smell fine! No. No, dude. There's nothing there! Yeah, I think this is the nose blind mice. Yeah. Oh, we just did a smell test. I see. I see what you mean about that lavender. I have f***ing <laughs> <iron. laughs> I have deodorant. Do I want to do this? You I thought it was, it was not bad. Like, I smell not as good as him. But I smell better. He's crazy. Oh my god, I don't smell ah. anything! You guys are insane! <laughs> No, no. Oh, yeah. Here's a little V patch. <laughs> Looks like a Brazilian. <laughs> oh, that is bad. It's not good. That is really bad. The Miami thong. You have the Miami thong. And we are back. We're back. Literally back. Well, we were never here. This is a different entry, but it is between two yetis. Kilimanjaro special wrap up. Cheers. And who would have thought they have beer at the um at the um? They know. They what is this? This is a gate. Yeah, it's a Muika Muika gate. What did you think of the walk to, out today? Well, I've just I've just done my statement. The walk for, slash drive out. <laughs> He took an ambulance uh, the part way down at the end there, apparently. <laughs> Questionable. His summit is now in question. Did he do it under his own strength? <laughs> or did I get the systems up? <laughs> what, what final thoughts do you have? Uh, Before, how many beers have you had so far? This is my third. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Some of the girls are on five, so yeah, this is going... Gonna... a long time. Uh, my final thoughts... Why have the girls been so competitive? <laughs> no, there was no reason to get here that early. None. None. We're still going to be here for hours. Uh, hours. I tell you what, Vanessa won't be here. What time? What time are we on now? It'll be dark. It'll be dark. Yeah, it's 1:41 now. I'm going to say, say four. Ah, uh, yeah, three or four. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. She just it's takes fine. it slow. It's fine. I spent a couple of days with Vanessa actually, to be honest. Um, walking. Her pace is beautiful because you get to take in everything. Sure. And so um, the guides were with. I was just interviewed Dennis, and he was saying that you know they've got a train for ecology, ecology or something. Okay. They got to know everything about the plant life, the animal really? life. To be a guide. To be a guide, wow. and they tra and they tr um, study for this. And so, if you actually ask the guides and talk to them and take your time. So wonderful! We saw monkeys, we saw little um, plants, mushrooms, stuff really like. Really take it in. Really take it in. So walking with Vanessa at that pace really gave you the opportunity to just see it. Interesting. Yeah, I I went so fast I don't even I didn't see anything. Yeah. This is Adam. Oh, and Vanessa! Wow. How did Vanessa just arrived. Vanessa, I'm going to personally apologise to you right now. Three forty-five. One forty-five. Two minutes after my prediction. <laughs> Oh, we might be going yeah. back way earlier. Yeah. Final. Hey! Hey! Woo! Yeah. See you back in Miami. Well, I'll see you at the hotel. We'll do another one at the hotel. Oh yeah, but <laughs> we, 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 we've been. <laughs> Thanks for inviting us. Oh, sorry, we cracked it. Coming up in our final part, we make it back to the Keys Hotel with all its modernities. We get awarded with our certificates, Nelson hands out the tips, and I show my boys my appreciation for what they've done. On our last night, I get everyone to memorialize the Yetis, and then it's goodbye to Africa and our new friends, and off to the airport. And I try to wrap up this experience without sounding like an absolute <laughs>